hi welcome back to my channel my name is rachel today we shall be learning how to make a raw food sleeve organza sleeve and these are the materials i'll be using this ankara fabric this organza fabric and then here i have my basic sleeve pattern for this sleeve you can also use two net the soft one if you want so the first thing we are going to do is determine the length of our sleeve so here i'm not going to use this full long sleeve i want to reduce the length of the sleeve but if you want you can make a short sleeve a long sleeve totally depends on what you want so here i'm using 19 inches for the length of my sleeve and for my cuff i want five inches cuff so if you look at the picture on our thumbnail you see it has a cuff so i'm going to use five inches for my cuff and then i'm going to mark it across like so so after marking it across i'll label cuff also i'm going to trim out the parts that i do not need here i have my fabric folded into two and i'm going to add half inch seam allowance to attach to my blouse or to my dress and then i'll also be adding half an inch to the um, cuff side so that i'll use it and join my cuff i already have one inch seam allowance added to the side while drafting the pattern of the sleeve here i am marking to two inches now this is for demonstration just to show that if you mark two inches equal on your sleeve remember this sleeve is not equal the part will be attaching the cuff is not the same measure so if you mark equally after sewing your ruffles on the sleeve and it's time to shape the side seam you'll be sewing on top of your ruffle do you understand so this is just a demonstration on this basic sleeve i am not going to mark equally so at the upper part i'm just going to follow the notch i made to indicate the midpoint so i'm going to mark two two inches at the upper part then around the cuff area which is the part will be attaching to the cuff i'll be marking 1.5 inch do we understand so it's not going to be equal because if i mark it equally and after sewing my ruffles and it's time for me to shape the side seam of the sleeve i will be marking i'll be sewing on my ruffles do we understand so this upper part i'll only mark two inches at the midpoint two inches then at the hem i'm going to mark 1.5 inches you can use one one inch uh, that is the distance where you'll be sewing your your ruffles so now the number of lines you have on your basic sleeve will determine the number of ruffles you're going to have after marking the two, two inches i'm going to connect the lines i'm also going to repeat the same thing on the other side of the sleeve so please the distance if you want you can use mark one one inch from the center sleeve mark one one inch that depends on how full you want your ruffles to be and the yardage of fabric that you have so because here my organza is actually one yard so i'm using one yard for this particular tutorial this part that has the selvage is the 36 inches while the other side is by 60 inches in length that is the part we'll be having sewing our lines for ruffles so here i'm going to mark one inch away because i don't need the selvage area so i'm going to be marking seven inches apart so that is by the time i sew my ruffles and attach to the sleeve on fold is going to be 3.5 inches do we understand so here as you mark i folded this organza into two so i can have the same measurement by the time i open it up on the other end as well so on these lines that we are marking the reason i'm notching it is so i will have the same measurement so you have to take it to your sewing machine run a loose stitch on the lines from one end to the other end or you can use needle and thread to create your ruffles but for me i'm just going to do that and then i'll come back and show us and please ensure the lines matches with the number of lines you have on your basic sleeve so here i'm labeling my cuff 
you can label yours as well so after this i'm going to go ahead and cut out my fabric for the cuff and this is it at the upper part i added half an inch down part i also added half an inch by the side i already have seam allowance there and i have this into two i'll use one to turn the other so here i am done sewing my ruffles can you see this is it it is coming together already so you can actually do this with your needle and thread like i said earlier so i'm just going to show us what i did unwind your thread pick just a single thread and pull please when you are doing this you have to be gentle because when using this particular method of making ruffles yes it's faster it's easier but if your thread happens to cut you are going to start all over again so please be gentle while using this method carefully pull as you're pulling you're forming your ruffles while you pull your ruffles will be forming so that was how i achieved the rest of the ruffles that i've already done so you're going to repeat the same thing for your own as well even if you're using um two you can actually use this method as well or you can pleat as you sew on your sleeve when you are done making your ruffles the next thing you are going to do is to bring in your basic sleeve so you are going to evenly distribute the ruffles along the lines you'll be sewing on your basic sleeve so pick a rough pick one line and then distribute evenly your ruffles on that line and sew on it you are going to sew on that same line you sewed on your organza fabric after sewing mine this is what i have can you see the ruffles it's looking so fine so the excesses and this is the back so the excesses we have at the side you can pleat it to form another ruffle on your seam allowance just pleat to form another ruffles or you can just sew on top of it and trim out the excesses you have so but for me i'm just going to please to form another ruffles on both sides of the basic sleeve then at the upper part and the lower part you're also going to form ruffles too so remember we have openings because of the ruffles so just create tiny tiny ruffles around the following the sleeve curve and then you sew on it tiny pleats and sew on it i'm going to do that and come back and show us what it looks like so after sewing this is what i have can you see you can trim out any excesses you have there please do not forget to subscribe so by the sides you can see the extra ruffles i added by the sides this is it it's looking so fine here i've sewn my cuff as you can see so if you want you can flip this like so and sew the side according to the seam allowance that you left do you understand so when you are done sewing this way your seam is going to be inside and then you bring it out after which you shape your sleeve and then use your cuff to close in the rough edges of the basic sleeve opening but for this tutorial i am going to sew my cuff like so so i'm just going to go ahead and sew on half an inch and come back and show us so after sewing the cuff this is what i have can you see what the inside looks like so please overlock the rough edges of your cuff so the next thing you are going to do is to shape this side so you're just going to squeeze in your ruffles inside and then you are going to sew according to the seam allowance that you left please do not sew on your ruffle make sure you squeeze in very well and sew and i'll do that and come back and show us what it looks like after sewing this is what i have can you see please overlock the rough edges please please so i'm going to bring it out and then this is the final look so please do not forget to subscribe thank you for stopping by on my channel i do not take it for granted you can attach this to your dress to your blouse and this is looking so beautiful so see you in my next one bye